Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about when to use quotation marks in our narratives. What is the right time for this and what is dialogue? Make sure you have your notes open and you know I highly suggest you split your screen to make this go a little bit easier for you. So our first topic is what is it? What is dialogue? Dialogue is a conversation between two or more persons. It's called a dialogue. So whenever people are speaking, we are having a dialogue. The way a dialogue is written shows the reader who is speaking. So where the quotation marks are show us who is speaking. Dialogue shows the words belong to someone else. Putting it in quotation marks shows us that the words belong to someone else. When do we implement, meaning when do we use, quotation marks? When writing dialogue, begin a new paragraph each time the speaker changes. So if you and I are talking, Mrs. Boudreau said, quotation mark, comma, quotation marks, does anyone have any questions? Question mark, quotation marks. New paragraph, student raises hand, comma, quotation marks, I do, period, quotation marks every single time. Remember, we've already talked about top, right? The first P in tip top stands for person. So every time someone new is talking, our characters are having back and forth conversations. With dialogue, your paragraph can literally be a tiny little sentence because it's just what someone says. Topic three, correct these errors. What time is it? Gina asked Connie, who was sitting beside her in study hall. Look at mine. Look at the one in your notes. Your notes is missing something. Mine is correct. Really good time to split your screen and think, hmm, what is missing? If you could correct it in another color font, that would be great. If not, no worries. It's quarter of two, answered Connie. The bell will ring in five minutes. Again, mine is correct. Yours has an error. Can you find and correct the error in a different color? Pause me, go back and forth and find it. You should see in both of them that there's missing quotation marks. And finally, here is a mixed up one big paragraph between Minnie and Mickey Mouse about going to Disney World. And you need to correct it. You need to make the new paragraphs. You need to add in missing quotation marks. I'll read it through once. And whenever you would pause to break for the other person is when you're going to hit enter and make a new paragraph. So I'm going to read it as written. Mickey asked Minnie, do you want to go to Disneyland together? That is a great idea, Minnie replied. Then we can ride. It's a small world. How long is the wait? Mickey asked. 45 minutes, replied. Minnie replied. But now if I read it like the pauses were there, Mickey asked Minnie, do you want to go to Disneyland together? That is a great idea, Minnie replied. And we can ride. It's a small world. How long is the wait? Mickey asked. 45 minutes, Minnie replied. Every time it changes between Mickey and Minnie, you should be starting a new paragraph. You also need to make sure you have quotation marks around both sides of when they speak. All right, good luck. Rewatch this if you need to. And make sure to submit those notes when you're done.